Konnichiwa minna. This is Yui Zora, and um, by the way, I'm in England. This isn't my house, nor is this my room. It's actually gonna be really awkward with this poster in the background. <laughs> this isn't my room. This is my cousin's room, who is actually a dude. He's a guy, and he's like a year younger than me, so... <laughs> There's also two other posters, like sexy posters of the singer Rihanna and the actress Jennifer Lawrence. But I'm not going to show that because it's way too sexy for YouTube. They're not naked, they're just in their bikinis. And it's pretty nice. <laughs> oh god, I hope he's not watching this, but... <laughs> he's, not, he's not here right now. So it don't have anyone to confess, but here's, you guys probably read from the title, uh, Late Happy New Year, yay! I, I usually do it just on New Year's Eve, Eve, but I was like, I wasn't feeling very, um, well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna flat out say what happened. I wasn't dying, I wasn't sick, it was something else, and... I was going to do a top 10 list, but, uh, like I did two years in a row, a top 10 list of fre my favorite animes, but only two anime changed, like, two new animes made it in the list, and that's Steins Gate and Nana, and there's not really that much to talk about the ones I already said I liked, but, oh god, it's two minutes in, and I'm not even saying what the title is. I'm just talking about some very silly shit. I'm not even joking. Just stuff in my childhood. Some stories, so... Hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so here's this story. This was back when I was living in Cyprus. And I was... At Cyprus, it was so hot, and I'm very sensitive to the heat. And I get really, really, really sick. And my dad, he was in the army, and he was going to go to work. Me and my mom were laying in the same bed. We were sick. My, so my dad was saying goodbye to me and my mom. That, I was very young, by the way, so I didn't have my siblings then. He was like, goodbye, Jamie. That's my mom's name. Nah. Then he said, goodbye, goodbye, baby, and then, like, I was just leaning, my head was leaning out the bed, and my face was facing the floor, and he, as soon as he kissed me, I threw up at his face. <laughs> I threw up at his face. <laughs> and I, well, at least I got him a day off of work, because... He actually got sick after that. <laughs> I know this is a gross story, but uh, the next one isn't gross, trust me. Um, back in um, my Edinburgh days, that was when I was living in Edinburgh, it was Easter time. And usually in Easter, we always have these big chocolate eggs. Like... And I always love them. I love I love chocolate. As a kid, I love sweeties in general. Candy or wherever you come from. And for some, like, reason, like, I didn't have a lot of friends. And I ended up growing attached to this one egg. I don't, I, I remember it being gold. I would never open it. I've had it for like two weeks and I still never ate it or opened it. And I, it, that egg became my best friend. <laughs> I was just so attached to it. But, I yeah? Can you watch the I just wait! So, yeah, I grew attached. <laughs> Thingy tablets. I ain't got. Oh wait. I ain't got painkiller. I don't have painkillers. Come on in, Ted. No. 
she's walking away. I think she's talking about the hay fever, but the, he said painkiller, but I got it out just in case. Alright, so yeah, I grew attached to this egg. And one day, my mom was desperate for chocolate. And the only chocolate she had in sight was that egg. When she told me she wanted to eat it, I was heartbroken. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I was crying. Like, she was going to break it into pieces. And I'm like, Mommy, don't! don't! <laughs> Oh god, I remember that. Like, I remember being traumatized from that because I'm I grew attached to that egg. I loved it like it was my baby. So yeah, my mom did have a chance to eat it, but I was really upset when she did that. That poor egg. <laughs> I I don't think I gave it a name. I just call it my best friend egg. Oh my chocolate my best friend chocolate egg rest in peace chocolate egg i love you <laughs> okay uh, another story um oh god i never really thought this through did i <laughs> all right so um this isn't my story it's actually my brother's but it's one of the funniest stories ever that i just need to include it on the list Alright, so I had a dog, a black Labrador named Starbuck, and um, she she always had a habit, whenever she's excited, she would grab my my brother's um, trousers, <laughs> or pants, whatever you call it, and, and um, like when he runs, it, it just automatically just comes down. So she pulls his pants down, and um, one day, he was in his pajamas, and I had, like, a friend over. He was a dude, by the way. My friend was a dude, so it's not really that. I'll tell you later. You'll find out later, but, um, yeah, and then Starbuck got excited and started pulling down my brother's pants. My brother's name's Logan, by the way, and she pulled down his pants, but... Like, his pajama pants. But here's the thing. He never wears underwear underneath his pajamas. <laughs> oh, God. Poor baby Logan. He must have been humiliated after that. Okay. Um... What other stories should I tell? Um, all right, well, it's not really a childhood one. It's actually still going around. At high school, I have no idea why, but... Ugh, looks like I'm gonna have to reveal my real name now. Um, at school, many people call me Mad Emily. I'm not even joking. They're like, hey, it's Mad Emily, Mad Emily. And I'm like, where the hell did that name come from? Like, where did it come from? I don't know why people are saying mad now. And, like, it's, it has been good. I don't, it's not bullying, by the way. I'm fine with that. I'm just like, where did Mad Emily come from? Oh, and, um, trying to think of another story. Here's one story where, um, uh, me and my best friend, uh, Georgina. I'm sorry, Georgina, but I really want to talk about it because it's so funny. Um, at math, um, we were in maths, and this was, like, when we started sitting next to each other. And we talk about the most stupidest things. And my friend Georgina, she she used to be, like, she used to be obsessed with the cartoon Spongebob. And, uh, the, the teach the math teacher said a, 
a word. And she was like, that word reminds me of tiny chicken nuggets. And the boy in front of us, I'm going to give him a, a different name. Uh, Connor. I'm saying Connor because I can see the Assassin's Creed dude up there. Alright, so Connor got like really annoyed at us talking and laughing in the behind him and he was all like all they ever talk about is tiny chicken nuggets and spongebob and that is not true and we've only talked about that only one time and that was just that time all they ever talk about is tiny chicken nuggets and spongebob i mean really and having that said out loud Oh my god, that would be, that, it was a little embarrassing, but I was with my bestie, so, hey, <laughs> in your face, oh god, so, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure once I'm done with this video, there's gonna be a bunch load of stories I forgot, and, well, that's all I've got for you guys. And you guys finally know my first name. And I have Snapchat. No, it's Yuizora. Or there might be an underscore there. I'm also on Twitter. And I have Instagram, so please follow me on those. And a uh, happy new year. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me what story you think is the funniest. Sayonara, Aishiteru. And by the way, I love the poster.